Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I appreciate everyone stopping by. If you want to leave a comment down what you character you guys would like next uh, for the next build, let me know in the comment below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And let's get into the video. The first character we're going to be talking about is Margrave. Margrave is absolutely one of my favorite characters and the most underutilized character in the game just because no one thinks he's really, got, really that good. Yes, he's the slowest, but he's going to hit a massive amount of damage if you play him right. And that's why we have this build up right here for you guys. So you guys can get all that damage output, crowd control, and you're going to be pretty much scaring everybody away once you start coming up to him with this build. So let's get into it. First, you're going to start off with your core tanking ability, the smash. This is the starter for your attack, your finisher, and maybe your escape. If you're still around after the cooldown, take the ability to leap further and deal more damage. This will make your smash rewarding for you and punishing your enemies. Then take the armor bonus just because it's, you're on the fray and you're going to take a lot of damage. I would vote for a long range death smash, but what, what good is it if you can't jump from afar? So next we're going to be working on survivability. So we're going to upgrade your charge with the length and cleanse. So this is going to be the main escape since it allows you to sprint in a short distance, even if you have no stamina. It will also remove slow. I would also, I would not recommend you to use the other tree because the short, the charge distance becomes unbearably short and you just won't be able to catch anybody. So the level 5 area, uh, I would recommend making your smash more impactful since it's a key ability. So get a big radi radius damage and it will increase the damage, your damage and crowd control by hopefully hitting an extra opponent which makes it harder to miss. Next we're going to increase your damage. You want to be a scary Margrave. You don't want to be a Margrave that just tanks all the time. You want, you want him to deal with some damage So because obviously he's going to be hitting 90 damage per hit. It's a small amount. But if you have the combo bonus, you will obviously double your damage outputting and whooping 300 damage on your fourth hit, which takes it takes time to build up. So why not start swinging before the fourth hit comes and you automatically hit that 300 or 275 or around that. Uh, but you will also take the AOE bonus. Uh, but because most of your damages uh, of Margrave is AOE, and you should have a lot of people surrounding you because you're a tank. And you're gonna, and they're going to want to kill you first before anyone else. Next around the level 8 uh, upgrades, you're going to start doing your shields. Uh, so there's two paths you can take depending on what opponents you are dealing. Uh, if there's a ranged characters, you'll be taking the reflection tree. If there are no ranged characters, you'll take the more damage tree. The damage is quite high and definitely a surprise for Margrave to whip out in the fight. It's something like 300 damage a sec, I think. Normally, I would recommend the reflections since uh, you can deny range characters. It also saves you a lot of HP if you need to go if you need to back out. Save your buddies from getting hit, saving yourself getting hit, saving creatures from getting hit. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Once it reflects, you can also deal damage to your characters. So around level 10, finally, you're going to be given uh, give yourself the health and uh, an upgrade, and make sure you, make sure yourself is immune to crits. This is the least useful of your abilities due to the fact that it doesn't really help you directly, but it merely expands your lifespan, which obviously you're going to want to stay in the fight longer. Your abilities will help you prevent you from taking damage and will help you with escaping, which is far more valuable. Still, more health is a great thing, and you're a tank, so take it. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Like I said, if you guys have any comments, uh, whether the build, uh, anything that you guys would like differently, or or if this is like something that you guys would like, please let me let me know in the comments below. Ever let me know of anything down below. Uh, if you guys have any challenges for me, uh, anything that's relatable, that's something that I can actually do. Uh, whether it be from like playing a game on like a high sensitivity. If you guys want me to play blindfolded, I don't know something that you guys would like. Maybe a 24-hour stream, something like that, so I can stay up all day. Something that's a little bit more sensitive to play more games. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Take it easy.